Do you have a palm tree in a pot like this? Did you maybe let it get a little too large and it needs repotting, but you're afraid because you think you're gonna hurt it? Let Daisy show you just how much abuse one of these things can take as she repots ours. This is Camadora cataractum, otherwise known as a cat palm. It is a great house plant. It is commonly sold in the big box stores. And I love it because it is a fuzzy little palm. It is a clumping palm. It doesn't grow more than, I don't think it grows more than eight feet. But I just love it and it does well in zone nine through 11. And I started off uh, with just using it as a house plant. But then I did a little research and realized that, you know what, it can actually take down to 25 degrees. When it's small, you need to protect it when you're on the edge of your uh, cold hardiness zone. But as it gets older, it's able to take more. So it can take the cold up to 25 degrees. I've actually put this in uh, our landscape and this winter it had some leaf burn or some leaf damage. So I would trim off those fronds, cut them off. And right now it is springtime. It has grown um, back in the front beautifully. This video is, I'm gonna show you how I uh, divide an overgrown house plant. This pot here with this plant is probably in this pot for maybe three years. I find that between two to three years is a good time to repot these, either trim the roots or divide the plant. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take it out of this pot. I'm going to divide the plant and put half of it back in the plant and the other half I'm going to put out in the yard. I'm gonna probably need my uh, Japanese sickle to cut any roots, clippers, and gloves. I may not need loppers, but depending on how big the roots are, I may need loppers. But this is all the tool that I'm planning on using. This is probably, like I said, three years in this pot. Look at the roots. For sure it is root bound. So I'm just gonna pull the roots off of here cause I've got to remove this um, plant insert that I put in here just so that I don't have to use as much potting soil. And I actually have pruned the roots off of these plants and they handle it well. Yeah, it's mostly roots, hardly any soil. So it's definitely root bound. Gonna. So these little plants here, I did not grow them or plant them. These are called wisp ferns. They're all volunteer. So I kept them. They kind of look cool. Let's see. Whew. Let's see. You know what? Let's see how I would like to divide them. It looks like we have several clumps in here. I think what I want to do is basically take this, the biggest clump here, the biggest stalk, and I think I'm going to take that out and separate it from the others and plant the big one in the, uh, in the ground.
I have done much worse to these palms. They will live. I bet it can actually take a saw, but I have been forbidden to use a chainsaw. Very hard. Uh, gotta use your feet. feel resistance. So that means I'm cutting into the big roots. So the main, it's stuck. I'm going to have to get a pruning saw. I'll be right back. So here is the inside of a cat palm. It doesn't have a main trunk, it's just clumping. So this one, I could actually split it into two. I could cut it right here, split it into two. If I put this in the ground, it'll take off. And definitely if I put this in the ground, it'll take off. I wonder if that's what I should do. But anyway, but this one I'm going to put back in the pot, but I'm going to shave off some of its existing roots. Or at least cut slits into it and loosen. Loosen it up a little more. Not that it wasn't loosened or stressed out before. <laughs> Putting my plant insert back in the pot because it'll save some potting soil and also offer better drainage for the roots.
It's much lighter now. All right. I'm going to just position it, tilt it so that it's centered and you won't even notice that there's a big chunk missing. <laughs> Now I'm going to clean up the old fronds over here. And here you have it. Newly repotted. And look at that. You can hardly tell that a huge chunk has been taken out of it. I'll turn it around for you. Voila! And I'll reposition it. And maybe a little light on the potting soil. I'll just top it off later. I'm gonna water it in. And that should do it. How to repot a cat palm. <laughs> so here we are five weeks later from when I rudely <laughs> divided and repotted this palm tree. And I just wanted to show you how it's doing. So I've oriented the part where I cut where it is uh, brightest or sunniest so that um, it fans out and it reshapes nicely. So from different angles here, the palm doesn't look lopsided. Um, so here is what it looks like, the wounds that was cut off. So just wanted to show you where it was sawed off. It was sawed off here and it's healing nicely. And it's also, it was producing a lot of um, blossoms. So what I did was, because I didn't want it to focus or waste energy on producing blossoms and eventually seed pods, um, I just pulled them off from the plant. Now let's go check the ones that I planted in the ground and see how it's doing. So this is the plant that was sawed off and that um, I planted it in the ground. It's actually produced a couple blossoms that I pulled off but because I planted it under the shade of the magnolia it will offer it the partial shade and the protection that it prefers and even though it can take temperature up to the mid-20s it likes that wind protection from the cold as well as the sheltered location either by a wall or under the shade of a mature tree. And I'll show you an example of what um, a plant looks like that has been planted in the ground two years. This is an example of a plant that's been in the ground two years. It did get winter burn, but I just snipped the burnt piece off. And as the frond fills out and it grows new leaves, I'll go ahead and take the ones that I've snipped out and take it all the way down to the ground. Here is an example of what the blossoms look like. Here is an immature flower cluster. And here's one that's um, breaking loose. And here is a more mature one, but then eventually these will become seed pods. So we don't want them because it's taking away energy that otherwise the roots and the leaves could use. Uh, and I don't really need the flowers or the seeds, so I take them out. I hope you found this video helpful or interesting. If 
so please press the like button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Hello, squirrel.